My name is Louise Reimer. I'm an illustrator and artist in Toronto, Ontario. This is my cat Minky. He's my companion in the studio. His full name is Diego Luna. He's a rescue cat from Montreal. <laughs> Sometimes he breaks things. It's okay. It's very nice. I started in drawing and painting at Emily Carr, but I didn't really like the program, so then I switched into printmaking, and I did printmaking for like three years. And then at the end, I took an illustration course with Julie Morstead, who's a like children's illustrator, and she was really inspirational to me. I think from there, I, th I realized that like making work that was about a narrative was a lot easier for me and a lot more natural than trying to make something <laughs> that was like heavily conceptual. Like it felt so good to put like language and text in my work and have it be around a story. So I moved to the Yukon after I finished school, and like I didn't make a lot of work, I just like worked a lot and it felt really good and it felt really good to be in this space that was like the opposite of being in the institution. And then I moved to Montreal, then I started hanging out with like Jason and having drawing nights all the time and just, you know, like feeling more free about what I was making. And then I started freelancing. I did stuff for like Weird Canada, I did like unpaid stuff. That was really good because it was really free and I was allowed to do like whatever I wanted. I could do whatever, like, psychedelic <laughs> paper stuff. Lately I've been making a lot of, like, uh, physical textures and then scanning those, and I think they have, like, a dreamy, feminine quality collaged into my pieces, because then it's, like, very unique and no one else is gonna have it. I have a lot of women who are in spaces and, like, exploring and sometimes um, engaging in, like, transgressive behaviors and recently I guess my work has had like themes of like metamorphosis and change in it that I haven't really thought about but then when I look at it I can see it like in the last com two comics that I made in November I got really obsessed with <laughs> the color blue and I did a bunch of research on like the different histories of the pigments which is super interesting and I wanted to make this comic about um, a medicinal blue supplement, which is a real thing. It like exists in this like scientific medicinal world, mm -hmm. but it also there's like all of this like chakra stuff about colors. So it's like both of the spectrums are interested in color. I feel like I haven't been making like personal work that much because like I make stuff for clients and then I like, I guess I kind of make things for Instagram now, which feels so weird and dirty. I'm trying to make things for myself now where I don't like show everyone immediately. Because I think you get into this habit of doing that, but I think it's good to like keep things for yourself for a while. You know, you have time. If you want to like change something or make it into like a bigger project, you can do that because you haven't already shown it. When you're always looking at the internet, it's hard to have like your own ideas because you're just looking at other people's ideas and other people's work and everyone's work just like kind of blends together and is less original so I'm trying to just like look at <laughs> outside references but I, w I want to be able to like look back on my career you'll be like oh yeah this is different from this even though at the time it all seemed the same to me but like different periods of your life are going to be different and you're going to be in different places I would say like even if there's a, like an artist or an illustrator who you really look up to don't just like emulate their work don't try to be them I think it's okay if you like practice drawing in different styles. I think that's good practice, but like do your own thing, carve out your own style. If you are doing like a weird thing and you think it's like too weird, just keep doing it. Like people will be interested in it mm -hmm. more than if you're making something that looks like exactly like everyone else's work. Sometimes he has like an apple sticker stuck to his butt. <laughs> I have to start again because there's cat hair all over my head.